This is the compact Vevo three gallon for beginners, which is a great option for everyone, my opinion. It's a great option for me, my small kitchen. And uh, this is how it looks when it is assembled. I'm going to disassemble it um, and reassemble it so you can see every little step. Very simple, no tools. I use my hands and it's doable. So um, this is the cold water pot. Um, this is the spout where the distilled liquid comes from. Those are the valves. Those are the valves. One valve releases the water which gets warm here and we have to release it and refill it with cold water. So I use this hose, it goes straight into my sink. This is closed, this is open. The other hose is the other valve and hose is for feeding with cold water, which I do not use. Um, in the packaging, somehow uh, got lost this little red handle and I anyway decided I don't need it because I am supervising it and always keeping it cold. I add uh, ice cubes all the time when it gets uh, warm like uh, regular tap water I feed it with ice water so um, this one doesn't get used. I'm gonna dis disassemble it right now this water spout has this tiny couple extension and the tiny piece of hose extension and it comes just like that This part comes just like that, the way you see it, right here, you can see the connection. The big part comes just like that, remember? To fill it only maximum three quarter probably where the uh, name is located um, and uh, remember when you uh, the, when we, the mesh is has solids and we don't want any solids here because they stick to the bottom so I strain the liquid using a cheesecloth and making sure I don't have any solids here. This is how it comes with all the latches, very simple. Now, this is probably, the lid is probably the most important um, item here. And this hose, I'm gonna disassemble it. I have one washer and this, forgot the name right now, and another washer. And this one comes just like that, coupled with brass connections. Thermometer. and the washer right here. So, that I haven't been using the 
distiller for a long time, maybe more than a year. So it has some buildup residue which can be scrubbed with a little brush and uh, rinsed very well with hot water. It's normal to have little bits of residue here and there and washing it with hot water and a little scrubbing brush will be helpful. Um, also, this spout sometimes gets a little bit of residue uh, from the copper uh, in contact with the air and water, it, it gets a little bit bluish. So I use a Q-tip and a brush and hot water and it's all clean and nice. So go back to the lid. Now, we have two holes. One hole, it looks like the, this hole is smaller for some reason. I take the th thermometer and I put a washer right here. Slide it through the hole. I feel like putting a washer on top will block any vapor or air coming through. And I con oh, that's not the right one. And then um, I'm just by using my hands, very simple, no tools. And it's pretty tight by the time I'm done. Right now it's tight, no air coming through. This one is very important that um, that um, the air doesn't go through. So I put a washer on top, which means on top of the lid. I slide it through. And here, put another washer. And I make sure it's tight. You can twist this together with this and they get really tight. There is absolutely no movement here. No movement by the time I'm done. Okay, so those are connected. I like to put the cold water pot um, I like to put it away from the heat so I'm, I'm, I'm going to connect it just like this and I put a support underneath so it's away from the heat this water needs to stay cold as much as possible and in order to distill so the further away from the heat it is, the better it is. So, just very simple. this not for now so we can see, so it will be more stable so see how <laughs> the thermometer is on the way have to make sure that um, it's out of the way this is a simple explanation for really beginner and whatever makes sense and for people who are not not technical like me because it's a miracle that I was able to figure it all out. So we have this, now the water spout 
for the water spout I'm connecting this tiny hose I'm just um, twisting and pushing and then the other extension to it is right here before you actually distill there is a process of uh, preparing all this setup you connect it and you run it uh, just water you run you, you actually distill water and there is uh, probably a little bit more to that which you have to make sure it's written in the instructions but uh, basically once you run um, distilled uh, you distill water then the whole system is clean and clear and you can distill whatever you want this this water spout is very important the the extension because um you will be having a, like a a, a jar and the distilled uh, liquid will uh, drip down there make sure you put a support so the distilled with uh, liquid will not splash out towards the heat and the fire that is over there uh, and uh, make sure it doesn't <laughs> overflow and causes any dangerous fires um, I watch it all the time change my um, my jars all the time I know that in the beginning uh, if you measure the amount of alcohol in the beginning is very concentrated uh, middle of the road is gonna be uh, mid concentrated as and at the end it will barely have alcohol so just by tasting it you um, you will um, figure out um, what concentration you want and quality and so on remember 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 this is extremely important the first two ounces the first two ounces that get distilled they have to be thrown um dumped and totally not use it the, the, there is a specific chemical that is dangerous to us so um, and if you want to be sure you may want to have extra precaution and not to use the four ounce, first four ounces just remember this extremely important detail um, of course that doesn't apply to water distilling and essential oils if you just use it for essential oils then you cannot distill alcohol you either distill essential oils with one um, distiller and a separate distiller will be used for alcohol distilling so um, all this is explained in, in the instructions uh, and beyond that but I, I just covered a little bit this is my setup and um, as I mentioned before as I mentioned before I put a support right here away from the fire and it takes me about uh, three hours to distill with this but it's worthwhile um, I hope this information was useful and thank you very much for watching